So behind me is the same exact blueprint multiple high ticket offers used to scale their own business all the way up to a mil a month. And that's exactly what we're gonna cover in today's video, right? We're gonna cover exactly the revenue benchmarks, right? So the four stages on how to scale your own high ticket offer, the key hires you need to make, the regular constraints and the solutions for each stages. I have a couple baseline questionnaire and starting points for you to be able to understand this entire graph. But before we even dive right into it, who am I, right? All right, so essentially, these are my credentials and experience. And if you're new to this channel, welcome. My name is Elijah. So the past two years, I've been training and placing over 200 sales reps to different opportunities, different high ticket offers from B2B, B2C. And all of the sales reps combined that I've trained, we have generated over 10 million in revenue for different offers in different industries. And I've consulted multiple sales team, over 20 uh, sales team from coaches, consultant, marketing agency owners on sales and ranging between you know zero to 10K all the way up to a mil a month, right? So those are the people that I've talked with, discussed you know sales processes with and how they scale their business. And I was also a sales manager for a seven figure company within the uh, government uh, industry, right? And I've trained three closers for that and uh, two SDRs. And I was also in different, six different offers I closed for and I've closed over a million in sales myself. So if you feel like that's worth sticking around, I'm gonna break down exactly the four stages on how you can scale your own high ticket offer all the way up to a mil a month. So we have to go all the way up to the left first, which is the starting point, right? Things to consider and dial in. So for example, if you're in the start, starting stages, you need to have your product service dialed in. And if you're just from zero to 50, you wanna make sure that you have your MVP meaning your minimal viable product locked in, and as well your ticket price, meaning your ascensions, right? Do you have a downsell, upsell, cross sells, and your market positioning, right? So those are the three main things I need to consider on the starting points. And mainly there's are some baseline questionnaire you can ask yourself, for example, if you don't have any money right now or your high ticket offer right now, you don't, you're not happy with where you're at or maybe you're not just generating enough money right now, then the question you need to ask yourself is, do you have clarity with your top of funnel and your market segment fit, right? And if that's not answered, then that's your answer right there. Is if you need to sit down, ask yourself, what is your client journey? Who do you wanna serve? right? And after that, right, then that will give you clarity for your marketing and sales because the regular constraints for zero to 50 is lead flow. And the solution for them is marketing and sales. And that's why that question is very important from zero to 50. Now, maybe you don't have enough time or maybe right now you're like, I'm a bit overwhelmed. I have a lot of, you know, cash now at the bank, but I don't have any time. Then the question that you ask yourself is, is your calendar booked out and you find yourself working within the business, within the biz, right? Then now the next step for you is, how do I start hiring talent for me to work on the business instead of in the business, right? And this is a common general business knowledge one-on-one. -on -one. This is nothing groundbreaking or innovative at all, but that's just a very simple thing. It's mainly one of the main common mistakes I always see as well, and even myself make is, you know, we always make things complicated, but in reality, things are just much more simpler and you want to make sure that your business is easily understandable and a lot of people can understand it in like a grade three level, just like what Alex Ramosi says, right? So for results, maybe you don't have any results right now. Maybe you have the sales calls, maybe you have the marketing dialed in, but you don't have the best results right now possible. So you have to ask yourself this question. What is the desired outcome working with you and what do you solve? What exactly do you solve, right? If I were to work with you right now, what is the number one thing that you're gonna cure me? What is the, for example, if I'm a doctor, right? And you're the patient, then I'm gonna start asking you questions before I even serve you with a pill. But that's kind of like, it's gonna help you as well in your marketing, right? So those are the things that you need to ask yourself, but some basic questionnaires to kind of like give you some understanding and clarity for your money time results. Because usually if you have a lot of money, that means 
you don't have a lot of time. And if you don't, if you don't have a lot of uh, time, then that means if you have a lot of time, then that means you don't have a lot of money. And if you don't have a lot of results, then that means you have a lot of money, then you can hire people and build your CSM team to get better results. Because ultimately, what I've noticed in the high ticket offer space, you literally just need accountability to get the results. It's not usually the information anymore, but it's just how well do you keep your clients accountable at this point, right? So let's break down exactly the zero to 50K a month on how to scale this. And to be honest, I'm assuming 80% of people watching this video is gonna be here, right? I'm from being honest, the key hires that you only need to make from zero to 50 is appointment setters, that's it. There's nothing, you know, groundbreaking about it. It's very simple, key hires, right? It can vary too. Sometimes you have to ask yourself this question, what are your natural skill sets? Are you naturally good at marketing or maybe you're naturally good at, at sales? So if you're naturally good at marketing, then you want to delegate whichever one you struggle with the most. The most common bottlenecks for this stage, right? The regular constraint for this is lead flow. And 90% of offers, high ticket offers that we work with, this is honestly the main bottleneck. And obviously the solution for this is marketing and sales. And again, I always like positioning my bottlenecks and putting them into a question. If you were to 10X your business right now, what would you need to focus on? Because sometimes you get distracted on doing the fulfillment, refilming a course module, whatever it is. If you were to 10X your business right now, what do you need to do? And 90% of the time, matter of fact, 99.9% .9 of the time from zero to 50K a month, your main solution is marketing and sales. So those are the only two things I need to focus on within zero to 50. And I'm gonna be honest, even all the way up to 100K months, but for for just the sake of this this video we're gonna break it down to stages right so now if you're at 50 to 100k months right your main regular constraint usually is the show up rate and talent training again i've had a personal experience with this i've worked with multiple offers once they're within that range they're like bringing in baseline 50k a month their struggles is always show up rate for some reason and then their setters doesn't they they stay for a couple months and they leave or you know, like their closers or their CSM, they don't really see the vision, right? So your key hires here is the SDRs, the CSMs, the closers, right? And the main thing that you need to work on and the solution for this struggle right now is the sales process. Now you have to ask yourself this question. How is your landing page? How is the sales process? Do you have SMS confirmation? Do you have email confirmations? What is the SOP when someone no showed, right? So like, what do you do exactly? Do you have a training modules for your setters and closers and the standard procedures for you when no, no, they don't show up, right? Who is the responsible? Like when, when is the pass from setter to closer? Those are the questions you need to ask yourself when you're at this stage, right? And again, this is the most common mistakes people make when they're scaling a high ticket offer as well from 50 to 100K months. The, the priority transitions from marketing sales to sales process, right? And one of the personal experience I've had with this is one of my good friends and the one that we helped place one of our sales reps on in the marketing agency space, coaching consulting, is he was struggling with talent acquisition and the way he was able to scale it to 100K months is by simply focusing on the business instead of working in the business. So that means replacing himself and hiring a CSM and also hiring a closer setter team. And then he was more focused on the um, sales process, right? So that's the number one thing that you need to focus on at this stage. Now let's talk about stage three, which is 100K months, the 250K months. And again, if you guys are finding value into this video right now, don't forget to comment like this or share it to someone that you think they might find this valuable as well. So right now for key hires, if I'm being honest with you, for 100 to 250K months, it's simply still closers and CMO. All right, CMO is the chief marketing officer of your offer. And the reason being is, at this point, you want to focus more on slowly transitioning this to more of like your brand and your camp company culture to scale this all the way up, right? And here I've only honestly, I've worked with one person, a couple people here personally, I've spoken with multiple people doing 100, 250 a month. And I'm going to be honest with you, it varies. Like some people's sales process, they have a very, very high ticket and they lock them in in multiple year contracts. Some has high velocity, meaning like they're in B2C. So this is where it somewhat varies now. 
And this is, it varies now from 100 to, I mean, I mean to be honest, to a mil a month. It depends on the industry you're in. It depends on which um, service and packages your ticket price, right? And, you know, like, are you a retainer model or do you have to hunt for a sale month after month, right? So this is where it varies now. But I can give you a general consensus. is It's closers and CMO, right? So I just spoke with someone the other day and he was in the telehealth business till you know service based and they only needed to sign seven people to go to six figures a month right so it's very different and it's just high ticket setup fee again it varies right from this stage but usually the most constraint here is the operation and fulfillment and if i'm being honest with you it can also become the product and the service itself on your positioning for it right because you want to start actually dialing dialing in the the offer itself and targeting higher level people or if the other way around the flip of that is if you're targeting b2c then you need more volume and then you need to start having, you know, down sales and products for this one. And again, solution for this one is the client journey, right? So like I said, you need to have cross sales for this. And a book I highly recommend you guys to pick up is zero to a hundred mil, you know, ready, fire, aim. That's a really good book. It talks about the same concept as well. Um, so that's pretty much the stage three from hundred to 250K a month. It varies, but in a overall principle, it's usually gonna be operations and fulfillment that you're gonna have constraints on. So this is very important now to make sure you're documenting everything, make sure you have everything, you know, uh, SOP'd. So you have the onboarding for your talent, your, your teams, uh, seamless so you need to have like some type of database or a wiki where once once people come into your business they know exactly what they're doing all right so now from 250k a month to a mil a month and again this is always going to vary each industry b2c b2b but the main key hire that i've noticed on b2c is sales manager right at this point you want to have some type of sales manager i'm going to be honest you can even do this at 250k a month to 400k 400k ish to half a mil sales manager fractional sales some type of third party agencies that you want to also use depends on your preference as well when scaling a high ticket offer the main regular constraints people have on this is huge i've worked with a company and build their sales team as well for their sdr team they're doing over 800k to a mil a month right their biggest bottleneck is their talent and their leadership right and the main the most fascinating part about it is they have all the marketing they have all the sales they have like you know market segment fit but this is what the main bottleneck is this is what's constraining them from sometimes there would be slow months for 500k to you know 400 to 500k months but that's the only reason why they're struggling is to be honest is a talent leadership right and the solution for this is company culture you need to have a company culture where people can back to right and again it's gonna vary right and that's pretty much the four different stages right from making sure that you have your product and service dial in your ticket price your market positioning right and then Again, asking your question, those questions, sitting down about your client journeys, right? And you have your products and all that good stuff. But that is ultimately the four stages on how to scale your high ticket offer all the way up to a mil a month. And again, if you guys found something valuable in today's video, make sure ask questions down in the comment section below. If you have any questions or any, you know, personal customized question, hit me up on Instagram. I'm more than willing to happy to help you out. And as always, you know, um, I make these videos and if you made it at the end of this video, I appreciate your time and your, and I hope you found something valuable in today's video. You took something away from it. And as always be a creator, not a consumer, create something today that will inspire you and others. I'll see you in the next one.